Well, it's been a magical ride for Minster, but the Wildcats certainly don't want it coming to an end at this point. Yeah, Minster's in the state semifinals for the third time ever after shutting out West Liberty Salem last weekend. But a win tonight would send the Wildcats to the state championship game for the first time since 1989. Those kids weren't even born when that happened. Wildcats all fired up to taste the state championship game. Tenora going for it on fourth and goal. Riley Nagel looking for the edge, but he gets stuffed by the Minster defense. Huge stand early in this game. No points for the Rams. And the Wildcats take over and drive it. Josh Nixon, the top 22 selection. Eli Wolf. they've been doing this all year long. Wolf coming down with a nice catch. They were scoreless after one. The drive continued in the second quarter, but it stalls in the red zone. Nixon picked off by Nathan Drews, so the long drive comes up empty. After a three and out by the Rams, Minster back on the attack. Carter Hogenkamp for 15 yards. Nice little cutting run there. Then a few plays later, it's Evan Huselman getting to the outside, and he scores the touchdown for Minster late in the, late in the fourth. The Wildcats are heading to the state championship game they had a chance, did Tonora, to win this game on a field goal, but couldn't do it at the end of regulation. So Minster wins 14 to 13. In the other Division Six state semifinal, Kirtland beats Lucasville Valley 28 to seven. So Kirtland marches on to the state championship game. The Hornets are a ridiculous 58 and one in their last 59 games. Minster hopes to make it 58 and two with a win at the Horseshoe next weekend. Coldwater, the only team to beat Kirtland in that run in the state championship so game. That's no not less. a shameful loss. No, not at all.